The genesis of human migration out of Africa represents one of the most pivotal chapters in the story of our species. It's a journey that began around 70,000 to 50,000 years ago, when a small group of Homo sapiens ventured from the East African plains into uncharted territories. This initial exodus was not a single event, but a series of waves, as groups of early humans took advantage of shifting environmental conditions to explore new horizons. Genetic studies have illuminated this early journey, revealing the footprints left by our ancestors as they spread across the globe. The DNA of contemporary populations carries echoes of these ancient migrations, encoded in the genetic diversity that characterizes our species. These genetic markers tell a tale of resilience and adaptation, as early humans navigated a world vastly different from the one we know today. Climatic changes played a crucial role in shaping the roots and timing of human migration. The Earth was in the grip of the last ice age, and vast ice sheets covered much of Europe and North America. In response to these conditions, early humans followed the paths of least resistance, migrating along river valleys and coastlines, where resources were more abundant and the climate more hospitable. The decision to leave Africa, while driven by necessity, showcased the ingenuity and adaptability of early humans. They developed new tools and technologies to cope with the challenges of different environments, from the arid deserts of the Middle East to the dense forests of Southeast Asia. Each step of the journey required overcoming immense obstacles, from harsh climates to unfamiliar predators, demonstrating the remarkable tenacity and resourcefulness of our ancestors. The genesis of human migration is more than a story of movement, it's a narrative of human innovation and survival. As we continue to unravel the genetic and archaeological evidence, we gain a deeper appreciation for the journey that shaped our species and the shared heritage that unites us all. This story of early exploration and resilience is a testament to the enduring human spirit, driven by curiosity and the will to thrive in the face of adversity. Tracing the genetic footprints left by our ancestors provides an intricate map of human migration, a story woven into the very fabric of our DNA. This narrative, revealed through the study of mitochondrial DNA (mTNA) and Y-chromosome DNA, outlines a journey of adaptation, survival, and exploration that underscores our shared humanity. Mitochondrial DNA, passed from mothers to their children, and Y-chromosome DNA, transmitted from fathers to sons, serve as molecular beacons, illuminating the paths our forebears walked and the connections between distant populations. These genetic markers are crucial for piecing together the puzzle of human history. They reveal not just the timing and direction of ancient migrations, but also the deep connections that bind the human family together. Geneticists have meticulously traced these lineages back in time, uncovering evidence of the first groups of Homo sapiens who ventured out of Africa and into the vast unknown. The genetic evidence paints a picture of a species in motion, spreading from the African continent in waves and adapting to new environments. This genetic diversity, which increased with distance from Africa, provides insights into how our ancestors navigated the challenges of their world, from the icy landscapes of Eurasia to the tropical climates of Southeast Asia and beyond. The journey was complex, marked by periods of expansion and isolation that shaped the genetic landscape of human populations. Along the way, our ancestors encountered and interbred with other hominins, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. These ancient interactions are captured in our genomes, revealing a mosaic of human history that includes love, conflict, and cooperation. This genetic odyssey is not just a tale of the past, it has profound implications for understanding human diversity and health today. Genetic variations that arose in response to environmental pressures, such as diet and climate, can influence susceptibility to diseases or how we metabolize certain foods. By tracing our genetic footprints, we not only uncover the story of our origins, but also gain insights into how to better care for our collective well-being. In essence, the study of our genetic heritage is a journey into what it means to be human. It reminds us that, despite the apparent differences that can divide us, we are all part of a single, intricately connected family. Our DNA holds not just the secrets of our past, but also the potential to guide us toward a healthier, more unified future. The archaeological evidence of early human migration 
offers a tangible link to our past, uncovering the roots and strategies our ancestors employed as they ventured out of Africa and into new territories. Artifacts, ancient tools, and fossilized remains serve as milestones along the journey of Homo sapiens, marking their progress across continents and through millennia. These remnants, unearthed from the Earth's depths, provide critical insights into the lives of early humans, from their daily activities to their broader migrations. One of the most striking pieces of archaeological evidence comes from stone tools. Their distribution patterns trace the paths of early human movements, revealing a gradual expansion out of Africa. As these pioneering groups ventured into Eurasia, they adapted their tool-making techniques to new environments, utilizing local materials and developing innovations that reflected their changing needs and challenges. Cave paintings and other forms of ancient art offer another window into the past. These creations, found in Europe, Asia, and beyond, not only showcase the artistic talents of early humans, but also their spiritual and cultural practices. They hinted a shared humanity, a need to express and understand the world through art, that spans across different groups and geographies. Fossilized human remains provide perhaps the most direct evidence of early migrations. Discoveries of early human skulls, bones, and teeth have helped scientists piece together the puzzle of human evolution and migration. For instance, the finding of Homo sapiens fossils in locations far from Africa, some dating back over 100,000 years, challenges previous assumptions about the timing and roots of human dispersal. Moreover, the study of settlement patterns and the remains of early communities offers insights into how our ancestors adapted to new environments. From the construction of shelters to the domestication of plants and animals, these archaeological finds illuminate the ingenuity and adaptability of Homo sapiens as they spread across the globe. Together, these archaeological discoveries form a mosaic of human history, each piece contributing to our understanding of how early humans overcame the challenges of their time to explore and inhabit the planet. While much remains to be discovered, the evidence collected so far paints a picture of a species defined by curiosity, resilience, and a remarkable ability to adapt and thrive in diverse environments. This archaeological record not only helps us to trace the footsteps of our ancestors, but also to reflect on the shared journey that has shaped the human experience. The role of climate and geography in early human migration is a narrative of adaptation and survival, shaped by the Earth's ever-changing landscapes. As our ancestors embarked on their journey out of Africa, they were confronted with a myriad of environmental challenges that tested their resilience and ingenuity. The shifting climate patterns and geographical barriers they encountered not only influenced the routes they chose, but also spurred evolutionary adaptations essential for their survival. During the Pleistocene, dramatic climate changes, including ice ages and interglacial periods, transformed the Earth's surface, creating new obstacles and opportunities for migrating populations. Ice ages expanded the polar ice caps and mountain glaciers, altering sea levels and exposing land bridges, such as the one that connected Siberia to Alaska. These land bridges acted as conduits for human populations, allowing them to move into previously inaccessible regions. The climate also played a crucial role in shaping the habitats and resources available to early humans. During warmer interglacial periods, forests expanded, providing ample food and shelter, while colder periods saw the spread of arid grasslands, demanding new strategies for securing sustenance. These environmental pressures drove technological innovations and social adaptations, from the development of more efficient hunting tools to the creation of clothing for protection against the cold. Geography, with its mountains, rivers, and deserts, served as both a guide and a barrier to human movement. Mountain ranges like the Himalayas posed formidable obstacles, directing migration flows along their peripheries. Rivers and coastlines, on the other hand, offered sustenance and pathways for exploration. Early humans harnessed these natural features, following river valleys and coastlines as they spread across continents. The interplay between climate and geography also influenced the dispersal and isolation of human groups, leading to the development of distinct genetic and cultural diversities. As populations adapted to local conditions, they developed unique traits and technologies suited to their environments, contributing to the rich tapestry of human diversity.
Understanding the role of climate and geography in early human migration sheds light on the remarkable adaptability of our species. It reveals how our ancestors navigated the challenges of their world, transforming them into opportunities for innovation and growth. This story of human resilience in the face of environmental change continues to resonate today, reminding us of our enduring connection to the Earth and its climate. The meeting of our Homo sapiens ancestors with their now extinct hominin cousins, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans, is a fascinating chapter in the human story, revealing the complexity of our evolutionary path. These encounters, evidenced through genetic data and archaeological findings, occurred as Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa and into regions these other hominins inhabited. The interactions between our species were not fleeting, they left indelible marks on our genetic makeup, with modern humans outside of Africa, carrying fragments of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA. The integration of Neanderthal and Denisovan genes into the Homo sapiens genome was more than a mere footnote in human history, it provided our ancestors with genetic tools to survive outside Africa. For instance, certain genes inherited from Neanderthals have been linked to immune system enhancements, offering better defenses against Eurasian pathogens. Other genes, like those influencing fat metabolism or skin pigmentation, may have helped our ancestors adapt to the colder, less sunlit environments of Europe and Asia. This genetic legacy challenges the notion of Homo sapiens evolutionary journey as a straightforward linear progression. Instead, it underscores the interconnectedness of the human family tree, highlighting a story of adaptation, survival, and, crucially, interbreeding among diverse hominin groups. The archaeological record supports this narrative, with sites across Europe and Asia showing evidence of shared habitats and possibly even cultural exchanges between Homo sapiens and their hominin relatives. The meeting of cousins thus represents a pivotal moment in human history, one that reshapes our understanding of identity and belonging in the natural world. It speaks to a shared struggle for survival in the face of environmental challenges and the flow of genes across species boundaries, contributing to the resilience and diversity of human populations. This acknowledgement of our intertwined genetic heritage with Neanderthals and Denisovans not only enriches our understanding of human prehistory, but also serves as a reminder of our species' remarkable capacity for adaptation and coexistence. As we continue to unravel the complex web of human evolution, the story of these ancient encounters encourages us to view humanity not as a collection of separate lineages, but as a mosaic, intricately pieced together from the many paths tread by our ancestors and their cousins on the journey through time.